Welcome to the Step 1 of Your Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about vitamin B7 and B9. Vitamin B7 is also called biotin. It acts as a cofactor for enzymes that adds a one-carbon group called carboxylation. These enzymes include pyruvate carboxylase, which turns a three-carbon pyruvate into a four-carbon oxaloacetate, acetyl-CoA carboxylase, making two-carbon acetyl-CoA into three-carbon malonyl-CoA, and propionyl-CoA carboxylase which turns a 3-carbon propionyl-CoA into 4-carbon methylmalonyl-CoA. A vitamin B7 deficiency is quite rare. If it does happen, dermatitis, enteroitis, alopecia can all be symptoms. Causes for B7 deficiency include long-term usage of antibiotics and hyperingestion of raw egg whites. This is because the protein avidin avidly binds biotin. Vitamin B9 is also called folate. It is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid, or THF, which is a coenzyme for 1-carbon methylation and transfer reactions. Can you remember what THF is used for? The answer is pyrimidine-based synthesis. Folate can be found in green leafy vegetables. Folate from foliage. It is absorbed in the jejunum and a small reserve is stored in the liver. A deficiency of folate results in macrocytic or megaloblastic anemia, which is when the red blood cells are larger than usual and contain less hemoglobin. Also, hypersegmented polymorphonuclear cells can occur, which is when the neutrophil nuclei have six or more lobes. And glossitis. An increase in homocysteine levels can be seen, but with normal methyl malonic acid levels. A deficiency of folate can be caused by pregnancy, alcoholism, and drugs such as phenytoin, sulfonamides, and methotrexate. To avoid folate deficiency during pregnancy, folate should be given one month prior to conception and during pregnancy. A folate deficiency during pregnancy can cause defects in the formation of the neural tube. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.